How are shares bought and sold and in what quantities? The broad brush answer to the above question is that the potential investor, having decided to invest in the stock market, places an order with the broker, a licensed professional who is employed by a brokerage firm and who specializes in buying and selling securities, including stocks, for the stock he or she wishes to purchase. And for beginners, we only suggest using a full-service stockbroker, because then you get professional counsel at your disposal. If you have no idea just what to buy but have the inclination to invest in stocks, do your reading and research first and try to get a feeling for areas that may interest you most. Talk to a broker or preferably several brokers for advice. On the other hand, you may already have an interest in a general uh, industry category but have no particular company in mind. Again, read, research, speak to a broker, consult InvestorRules.com if you want further advice. Then when you have decided upon a particular stock, you contact the broker, ask for a quote for the, comp for the stock and the company you wish to invest in. The broker would then access his research data, including any electronic market data systems he uses. After discussion with your broker, he or she will then uh, place a buy order to the appropriate exchange, possibly the New York Stock Exchange or the NASDAQ. And when they do the buy transaction, they work the entire process for you. Selling stock. Again, for beginners, we only suggest using a full service stock broker. When someone who owns a desired stock is willing to sell at the price the buyer is willing to pay, the transaction then takes place. These days, computer technology and telephones are used to execute the sell and the stockbroker just plays a sell transaction for you and again works the entire process for you. Here's a quick tip. You can tell whether a particular stock is traded on the New York Stock Exchange or the NASDAQ by simply looking at the stock symbol. The symbol has one to three characters. It is traded on the New York Stock Exchange. If the symbol has four or five characters. It is traded on the NASDAQ. Stocks can also be purchased on an e-trading account. And this is not something we suggest for beginners. As the learning curve is high, it's not cheaper for casual investors, and you lack professional counsel from a broker, which is probably the biggest thing that you can have on your side. As to what quantities you can buy stocks in, it varies. It all depends on the company involved, on the price of the particular shares, on any limits set by the company, on lot sizes, and many other factors. But generally, you can get as much as you can afford. You of course can't buy partial stocks. You may have to round up or round down but generally you can buy even in odd numbers. Go to stockinvestingprofits.com for a free seven part stock investing kit. It's a full multimedia kit that will be shipped out to you. Stockinvestingprofits.com